<laughs> New York City Housing Authority announced today its plan to tear down two public housing complexes and build new ones for residents. The city's plans to demolish and redevelop the Fulton Houses and the Chelsea Elliott Houses in Manhattan. The new units will feature amenities such as heating and cooling systems that can be controlled by the tenants themselves and also come with dishwashers and washers and dryers. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negaman has more from Chelsea. From the air, you can see what a big chunk of real estate we're talking about. Actually, two big chunks, the Fulton and Elliott Chelsea houses in Manhattan, decades old and falling apart. George Figueroa has lived here nearly 50 years. What do you think of this plan, George? Excellent. I'm, I'm, for, I'm for 150%. Not all residents are on board, but the vast majority voted in favor of a plan that will eventually tear all this down and build them new homes. Things are breaking down and we're getting everything brand new. I mean, what, what, what can you complain about getting new stuff? My question is, what would the cost be to go in the buildings, building by building, and fix what's run down? At first, they wanted to do just that, but the developers and the housing authorities say what became really clear was the need for a fresh start. So in the end, over 2,000 existing apartments get replaced with about 3,500 new mixed income units added. And while the buildings may be new, tenants will pay the same old rents capped at 30% of adjusted gross household income. Off-camera, residents show us photos of moldy apartments, tell stories of lax security and crime. They hope this plan will help. We're human beings, and we need to, we don't have to live this way. We should be living better than what, how we're living right now. This is going to help change, uh, change lives, right? It's going to improve the overall quality of life, which is going to be fantastic for our residents. Knight just says along with the new construction come some new amenities rarely seen in public housing, like in-unit heating and cooling, dishwashers, washers, and dryers. It's already more than four years in the making. This will take another six years to complete.